everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and in today's video, you're gonna notice the new lovely throwing area that is here at Airtay headquarters, AKA my home. And what we're doing is, because we're on lockdown with this COVID-19, we want to encourage people to try to maintain a normal schedule. And one of the things that we want to be doing, ton of progress can be made by doing drills at home, working on throws, uh, adding in some bands and med balls. So we're gonna be doing a lot of drills uh, and different training here in our driveway, because for a lot of you, this is actually almost like a blessing in disguise. It, it really sucks, needless to say, what's going on with the health impacts, uh, what it's doing to our lives and jobs and the economy, and it's just bad on so many levels. But what we wanna to try to do during that time is make the most of it, turn those lemons into lemonade, and what we wanna do is get as much improvement as possible. So that means with a lot of you being shut in, you literally have the opportunity to work a lot of position stuff. So one of the things you wanna be able to do is you know, check out the TCR system, them, all kinds of details on how to develop those, fine tune those positions, tons of drills, all that good stuff. But for today, what we're gonna do is we are going to talk about the power position, how to improve your stand throw and add more distance. Now, remember, one of the most important things that you're trying to do with a stand throw is you're trying to move in positions that train and carry over to your full throw. So many times people are just trying to throw far and there are some things you can do to just kind of make the implement go farther from a stand throw. But the, remember, the point is, is we're not stand throwing. We're looking at developing the full throw. So what we wanna do is work on stand throws that have the most carryover to the actual throw. So now that being said, one of the first things we wanna make sure we're gonna do is we wanna make sure we get that heel toe position. So a lot of times people teach people to set up like this, set up and then step in and set up their power position. Now, the problem and why we don't teach that is because I start with my weight on my left and it requires a lot more transfer to my right. And you're gonna notice how I just set that angle. Well, here's what happens, most people will do this and then they do this and they keep the foot on the ground. Now, there's a right way to keep the foot on the ground and a wrong way. And what we're gonna talk about in this video is just making sure we set it up right. And you're gonna notice that if I'm on one leg, right, my foot's here, I've set the angle, and now when I wind up here, I have a more stacked up axis. The point of this is we want that axis to rotation and we wanna be on top of it. One of the big mistakes you see is people shifting and they've got too much weight. So they step here, they do this, and they bend over and they're, they're actually shifting their hips onto the block leg and off of the delivery leg. And so now you're seeing this type of thing. That's a problem. So what we wanna be able to do is what we're gonna do is we suggest start from the middle of the circle, get your heel toe alignment, and we're gonna stretch this way. So we wanna create an angle where we're basically standing on one leg and our shoulder sitting outside of the leg. And then we teach what we call as an elevator drop, right? So we're teaching this, and now you'll notice that I'm on top of the axis. And that's gonna create rotation. If I bend at the waist and I shift weight here and off of here, I'll turn this way and I'm gonna turn off. You're gonna notice that my hips are facing outside this sector and I'm gonna lose a ton of power and distance. So one of the key things you wanna do is do these drills over and over and over. So set the angle. We say set the angle stack, elevator drop. We teach this at all of our camps. And then what we're able to do is very easily turn. Now you're gonna notice the position of my foot. My knee is going down. We're not going up. We're not shifting, we're rotating the delivery side around. So again, and I'm gonna be real careful to say when I say rotate, we push it, okay, and we rotate it. And we talked about this in some other drills and we break this down in depth inside the throwing chain reaction system and we give you a whole bunch of drills to teach that movement in a more efficient way. Again, the key thing to improve your stand throw is to really make sure that you're on the angle, make sure you don't load the, the delivery, uh, the block leg too early and you wanna stay on top of the delivery leg and push yourself into the block leg. Set the angle, set the stack, stay on top of the axis so you can rotate it. Make sure your heel toe alignment is, is aligned correctly. What's the real reason for that. If I'm here, I can easily turn my hips into the direction of throw. If I'm closed, I clearly block myself off. And if I'm too open, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna pull myself off as well. So you have to have that good alignment so that you can create the right type of force in that finish. And that's gonna translate to bigger stand throws. Okay guys, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up, comment below if you have any questions. Be sure to check out the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Be safe, stay strong, and we'll see you on the next video.